Hi Pisces, welcome to your January Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Pisces, we're looking at January Love. Whatever you need to know, whatever comes out, we're going to take it as it is. Please do keep that in mind. All right, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. You also can flip it, switch it, reverse it if you need to. Cross watchers as well could be a reading for you as well. All right, Pisces. Happy New Year. I hope you all had a great holiday season as well. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Do keep in mind, Pisces, if something shows up here um, you're not interested in or it's not resonating, totally fine. You definitely can leave it for someone else. You can check out other readings on the channel as well. Totally fine. And speaking of that, I did do 2024 yearly tarot readings. So if you want to check that out, uh, this will it'll pop up at the end of this reading or at the end you can go to the video tab and you may have to scroll a little bit, but you can find it there as well. All right, Pisces, so let's see. What is happening January 11th? Well, we have Blossom here. So we have, I believe that's Judgment. Yeah, that's Judgment. So, and we have 20, which is two, which is Partnership, Unities, Choices, Decisions. And it does say Blossom, but it is the Judgment card, which is, you know, Life Review, Relationship Review, Healing, Forgiving, what needs to be released. Um, it can talk of past life, soul contracts, big call to action, big decision being made, judgment from the universe. Okay, it's now time as well, but let's see. And we have seek, which is the hermit energy. And we have nine, which is almost endings and new beginnings. That could be a single energy for me. That also can be um, maybe a withdrawn kind of energy as well, whether it's you or somebody else. So somebody could be in a withdrawn energy right now and they're going through some big changes or something's blossoming or they're doing a lot of releasing at this time. But definitely finding the answers within. And we have choose your battles. So we have seven here with the seven of wands. Definitely um, seven is in uh, divinely guided spiritual energy. It can seem still stagnant, frustrating, nothing's happening when the universe is trying to help us. But seven of wands could be either a block, a wall, but also could be standing up fighting what we for what we want, setting healthy boundaries. Let's see. And we have release, which is the death card, which can be about endings, new beginnings. Hmm. Wow. So we have Scorpio, Virgo. We got Scorpio showing up here twice in Virgo. Somebody's releasing something. That's why they're withdrawn right now. They're going through big changes with the judgment card. And they're definitely, you know, standing their ground, setting healthy boundaries as well. All right, it could be you, it could be them. Take it as you will. But let's see what we need to know about this Pisces. What do we need to know for Pisces? January love, Pisces. Hope you're all doing well. Staying safe and healthy at this time. Happy New Year. All right, Pisces, January love. What do we need to know? Okay. Oh, judgment. Uh, not judgment, uh, justice. Okay. Nine of Swords, Stress, Fear, Worry, Anxiety, Four of Wands, let me get them out here, we'll see what's going on, Emperor Reversed, hmm. and the Hierophant. So it looks like to me here, Pisces, um, the Hierophant can talk of marriage or commitments, the Emperor not feeling themselves, not feeling like they're in a good place as well. Four of Wands can speak of, you know, marriage commitments as the Justice card, but also can mean divorce with the Justice card. Justice is truth, clarity, justice, balance, getting what we deserve, universal law and order, soul contract, past lives, things meant to be, maybe writings of wrongs. I feel like someone here is going through a big karmic cycle, whether it's good or bad um, as well, but there's a lot of fear or stress associated to it. Could be about a marriage or a commitment of some kind. They're definitely not in the right vibration right now. But we do have the Hierophant, which can speak of that as well with the Four of Wands as like marriage or commitment or something like that. Maybe this is you. Maybe you got out of something in the past um, and you knew it was the end or it's this person going through this right now. But usually the Hierophant is about a big level up as well. Morals, traditions, values, growth, expansion. 
um, learning, teaching, change. So we have Libra, Aries, and Taurus. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Ten of Cups reversed. Somebody is not happy, but they can't take a leap of faith right now. Eight of Pentacles. Somebody is not putting in the work either, or not putting in the work to something that they know is done, but not taking a leap in unhappy. Strength, so not feeling strong or confident. Queen of Swords reversed. This could be somebody you haven't talked to in a very long time. You have no clue what's going on. There hasn't been a lot of transparency. But we do have that release there, death, which is about endings. Hmm. So this person, wow, this person definitely is in a very stuck kind of situation that they're kind of, I feel like just kind of staying stuck in. So the universe may have to push them out of this is kind of what I'm feeling. But we'll see. Definitely, if we get uh, the tower, we'll know for sure. All right, so let's see. What else do we need to know here for Pisces? So what's coming in with the Justice card for Pisces? All right, what's coming in with the Justice card for Pisces? Let's see. Pisces. Three of Pentacles. Growth, expansion, building, rebuilding. Four of Swords is that non-action. The moon. So there's, you know, the fear, the worry, can't see the path clearly, which could be associated to the death card, which we have um, right there. Fear of letting something go or releasing something, but don't want to stay stuck either. What the heck? Okay. Four of Pentacles. Again, stubborn stuck energy, reluctancy to get out when they know they need to. That's you Pisces right here. So I don't know if we're talking about you. Or this could be you knowing that this person is like this. But we have the Wheel of Fortune. So that could be the universe stepping in here. Because that's fate, destiny, things meant to be. Moving things forward in the right direction. Um, it's usually positive movement forward. Luck, expansion. So I feel like this person doesn't start making the effort to get out of their situation. Whatever that may be. I think the universe is going to step in here. I definitely feel that. So let's see. We have Pisces. That's you. Sag, Leo, Chorus, Taurus, Scorpio. All right. Let's see. Oh, the, well, the tower confirms that. Wow. So <laughs> didn't I just say that? Well, if we see the tower, you know, there it is. So the universe stepping in, like looking down on this person saying, look, you know, it's time for this tower to shift. Two of Swords reverse. That's the decision from the universe here to step in. Maybe this person isn't confident enough to do it on their own for some reason. Queen of Wands reversed. And the Queen of Swords reversed. I mean, some it could be same sex. doesn't have to be. And the Seven of Swords could be, you know, this person avoiding the whole situation. Um, running out of fear. But that's like strategy from the universe here. Okay, we're waiting. And if you don't do this, we're going to step in. Because the Queen of Wands reverse is not someone who's feeling confident enough to take action. Queen of Swords, definitely not sitting in truth. Seven of Swords is definitely a very deceiving energy, deceiving oneself, avoiding, and it's not the best energy either. But there is love here. So this person could have feelings for you. There's a devil. So I was thinking about that a few minutes ago. So there's a fear, stress, worry, anxiety, negative energy, toxic energy, but just kind of loving you from afar, from a distance, but staying stuck in their toxic situation and not having the um, courage or the truth to get out of it. Or, you know, is the person a coward? I don't know. Oh, boy. So we got, I think I said the signs already. All right, so let's see. How is the wheel going to move this forward? Are they afraid of their person or are they just afraid to do this? I don't know, but I feel like someone is afraid of something. But yet they still do have love for you. So I don't know if you've ever physically been with this person in any way, shape, or form. Uh, or maybe it's just loving each other from afar. But I don't know. Let's see. How is the wheel going to change this? How? Seven of Swords again. Well, there's a Two of Cups. Two people that want to be together, long to be together, should be together. But there's too much avoidance and running out of fear. 
and deceiving oneself of uh, what they really need to do here. Six of Wands. We do have success victory though here. Page of Cups. Could be apologies, romantic gestures. And the Queen of Cups. That could be you, Pisces, for me it's Cancer, but it could be you. There's a lot of self-deceit here. A relationship that could be, connection could be very, very successful. Very romantic, um, sincere. A lot of love here. But there's a lot of avoidance, running out of fear, and not doing someone not doing what they should be doing seven of swords here is kind of what i feel so we got pisces this is you cancer that could be you again it's taken a long hot minute someone is not really doing much kind of sitting still but the knight does cross the finish line though so even though it looks like now this person's not going to do anything you know things could change down the road depends how long you want to wait for this person I mean, down the road, what, according to getting done with the Three of Cups? Three of Wands? You know, maybe something shifting, shifting very soon. I mean, we did see the Tower, which could be any time now. Something could be happening, like, now, anytime soon here. But Strength and the King of Wands reverse. Now, the King of Wands upright is, well, this is Leo, and this is Leo. So, King of Wands upright is kind of like um, the Strength card, because it is Leo. So, interesting. What's behind that Six of Cups? So there's the return. So what I'm kind of feeling like here, like of their own will, with the Strength Reverse, they may not have, you know, the own will to do it, but I, because you, I kind of feel like with this King of Wands, he looks like kind of forced or reluctant. I don't know why. Usually I don't get that. So it's like the universe f forcing this person and not that they're reluctantly doing it, but they're like, okay, well, I guess I got to do it now. I didn't want to do it because of their own fear of something. So I don't know if they're just in a really bad, toxic situation and they're afraid of their person or whatever. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I do see they have love for you. Not on the same page, though, because we got a page and a queen. If we have the king and the queen together. I'd be like, okay, you know, it's something serious here, but we do have the two of cups. Interesting. So the universe is going to force them to do something, and I feel like they're not going to like it. But because they do it of their own will, that's what I feel here. All right. In order for this to blossom, something has to change, and they know that. Okay. So what's coming in here with, I mean, the Two of Cups, Page of Cups, Queen of Cups, and the Six of Wands. But the Seven of Swords is not the greatest thing either so let's see what do we need to know let's wait to oh my god look what fell on the top of the deck <laughs> on the top of the pile here what the heck did i just do all right the king of cups so look and now they're looking at each other two people who look at each other may from a just loving each other from a distance i keep getting that oh my goodness I said if we had the king and the queen and that just fell out on the top of the clump. That's you Pisces. Could be another water sign. Doesn't have to be. All right. So what do we need to know about this couple in the two of cups right there? What do we need to know about this couple for Pisces? What do we need to know? Eight of cups in reverse. That could be the return. Um, but that also could be staying stuck because the Eight of Cups upright would be someone's walking away from someone, something or whatever. Eight of Cups reverses could be a return or it could be someone staying stuck. Three of Swords, how can paint? I think it disappointed you. This is you. You were so disappointed this person didn't have the balls to do what they had to do. Nine of Pentacles to become single. Single, independent. I feel like you're single. You're single, single independent energy here, but the energies are all over the place. All over the place. You're disappointed by this person that they didn't step up to the plate and do what they needed to do to get out of their circumstance, situation, toxic situation, whatever the case may be. Wow. Okay. So if you take the two from the nine, you get the seven of pentacles, which is a lot of waiting, assessing, analyzing. So Pisces, that's you right there. 
Eight of Pentacles reverse. Again, someone not putting in the work that they need to do or not investing in something. Like maybe they're not fully invested in their situation either. So, you know, it is time to get out, but they're not putting in the work to get out. I keep getting that. The Fool. So, you know, I'm not taking that leap. Page of Wands. I mean, and the Five of Wands. So they may be telling you Maybe they keep telling you they're doing it, but I don't really see them doing it. I see a lot of conflict around them, too, as well. But there's that King of Wands with the Strength reversed again. So, and the Magician also can be energies of the universe or somebody, you know, somebody here is, I feel like this person, though it's not really telling me how the universe is going to do it, but that's what I'm feeling. So let's ask that. How is the universe going to change this situation? That's what I want to know. For Pisces, how is the universe going to change this situation for Pisces? Let's see. How? For Pisces. How, how, how for Pisces? Chariot reverse, again, not moving forward to stuck energy. Knight of Pentacles, long time coming. Lovers, strong connection here cannot be denied. Hmm. This is a choice, decision, and the strong connection. Let's see. Oh, the devil. And the ace of wands. So it could be the desire for you may push them over the edge, or this person, uh, again, this could be, this is two sides of, like, the lovers, the negative and the positive. So it could be that whatever situation they're in is so toxic and negative that there's just one final straw that happens where this it's going to push this person out of it so they may be pushed to the limit by their um situation and that is what pushes them out of it because we do have the new beginning right here also could could be you know there's been nothing going on you know passionate wise in their situation for a very long time that could be something else that pushes them over the edge their love and desire to be with you Let's see, we have Cancer, Taurus, Gemini, Capricorn. I feel like I need to clarify a few more, but let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Five of Swords. You know, that could be self-sabotage. Stabbed in the back, a lot of negative energy. So they're swallowing in that energy when there's new love right there waiting for them. Two of Wands, there's a new path. Somehow the universe is going to show them, look, how toxic of an environment they're in. So whether this person they're attached to does something so devious or whatever that this person just finally wakes up and says, oh my gosh, you know, because it's going to be, you know, wake a big wake up too with the Ace of Cups. Being, you know, deceived, sabotaged, stabbed in the back, something really bad here with the Five of Swords that leads to change. Five is about change, which they see, you know, the love, the fire, the passion, the desire they have for you. Like, that's the path I want, two of wands. Three of wands could ha happen, like, right now. And the knight of swords is something happen, happening unexpectedly. So I feel like, you know, something very unexpected or something that is just, like, like that just tops the cake. Like, this is, that. that's it. Like, somebody could do something here that's so ridiculous, I feel like, in their situation that that's just, that's just it. It's like, nope. So taking action, uh, if I could talk quickly here. Um, or something very drastic and unexpected happening. And I feel like that's what's going to happen. It has to happen that way for this person to actually be pushed out of the situation. Unfortunately, but the new love is right here. Hmm, let's see what's after that. Ten of Wands in reverse, so that could be finally the ending of the situation. And then taking action with the Knight of Wands. Yeah, ending there with the Ten of Swords, definitely definitely ending of what unhappy situation what's next is you Pisces with the high priestess so you may not see this happening or coming you may be like okay well this person is just going to stay stuck like that well that's it I'm done but what you may not see happening uh, with the high priestess is that the new beginning is going to manifest here if you want it if you want it because it is a soulmate energy here with the temperance patience healing balance divine alchemy brings soulmates together Unfortunately, I feel like <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, New Beginning, that, there too. Uh, this person probably has to learn the hard lesson this way for some reason. 
for some reason. Again, new beginning there. So we have Ace of Pentacles. We saw Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. Ace of Swords, we haven't seen. That's because this person, uh, they have to be woken up here first with the tower for the change to happen. Exactly. Like messages from the universe here. Page of Swords, definitely. Okay, so we are Capricorn season right now. So this could be happening like any time now. We did see the Three of Wands reverse. which could be like right now as well. So whether or not, you know, you want to explore this with this person, uh, totally up to you. Some of you may be like, well, no, they didn't have the, you know, courage to do it before. I don't want them. Whatever your situation, it's totally up to you. But that's what I have. But we're going to get more from this deck and see what else we need to know. So if it did resonate or you enjoyed this Pisces, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. Any support given is truly appreciated. And I do thank you. Everything you need to know is down below. You can check that out as well. And again, if you missed your 2024 yearly reading, you can click on the pop-up that's going to come out at the end here uh, soon. You can also go to the video tab and it'll be over there as well. Raise your vibration. This person definitely, definitely needs to raise their vibration. Face your adversity. Yeah, whatever this person is facing, wow, they're going to have to face it. They're going to have to face it. Correct your mistakes. So this person's made a lot of mistakes along the way by not doing what they needed to do. So the universe definitely is going to force them to face it and reassess. Yep. Wow. Big time. Laugh at your demons. Oh, my God. <laughs> So this person may be getting the last laugh, you know, finally getting out of the situation. Whatever happens here, you know, they may be getting the last uh, laugh. I mean, the devil's right here. It's underneath that. Reevaluate your priorities. So now they can make you probably a top priority if you want this person. But go for your dreams. So definitely um, could be about two people that have been dreaming about each other coming together finally. But that's how I see it playing out, Pisces. So may or may not be a reading, so please do keep that in mind. But I'm wishing you the best. Uh, that's what I have for you. And I hope to see you next time.